What's up? What's up? What's up? You know who it is. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. This is the Light Body Podcast. And if you don't know who I am, you're going to find out who I am right now. Family, friends, enemies, and foes. This is that man that goes by the name of Clyde Rush. Today, as we've been talking about season two in full effect, I got my man, <laughs> the superstar, the one that everybody's <laughs> trying to figure out how they can get in contact with this guy. <laughs> he's got a book. He's got a podcast. He's going to talk about all that stuff today. The one, the only, none other than Mr. Kalani. Vale is in the building. Let's make some noise for my man up in the place to be. Yeah. Hey, you know, we're just going to go in. We're going to talk about who uh, Kalani actually is, what his story is, how he met him. How, listen, how did he transform his life from what it was to what it is right now? And we've all gone through a stress strain and struggle yeah. from one degree to another. And he's going to come up with his unique way on how he did it, his process, some of the people who he's actually worked with, the things that he's got going on. And if you if you're right and if you listen right, you might even get a special invitation to something that he's got going on. I'm not gonna say nothing about that yet. We'll talk about it later. All right. But um <laughs> in the meantime, between time, Kalani, just tell the folks who you are, man. Tell them what's up real quick and then we'll jump in. Hey Clyde, man, man, this is this is powerful, bro. I mean, I, I really I respect you so much, man. I, I'm I'm just honored to be here today. And a little bit myself, you know, I, I'm in currently I'm I'm a, I'm in wealth management. I manage millions and millions of dollars for a few hundred clients. And over the last 30 years, I've seen what true wealth is, Clyde. You know, I have clients that are super wealthy, but they're not healthy. I have other clients that are you know, they they have money, but they don't have a relationship with their kids. Right. And so I, I recently heard that true success is when your older kids actually want to hang out with you. Mm. I was like, whoa, right? Oh. And so, you know, it's, I've seen people pass away too soon. Uh, you know, being a wealth manager, then I have to help distribute the assets to the beneficiaries, right? Yeah. So I've seen a lot of people not li really live the life that they're meant to live. Mm. And so, you know, I it's it's I, I've been blessed to see that. And I've been blessed to actually to live my life where I realize, you know, I'm I learned lessons from my clients, you know, they get today, you really got to live. I mean, you, you got to be thriving, not just surviving. And part of that is really living the calling that's in your heart, right? Uh, the, 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 the thing that God put in your heart to accomplish in life. Right. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what I you know, that's what I'm doing today. That's what you're doing here with your podcast. It's so cool. exactly. Definitely, man. Yeah. This is what it's all about. So uh, real quick, how you living, how you loving and how you laughing? How are you living, my man? <laughs> I'm, you know, Clyde, I have I've been a single dad. I was my twins. They're boy and a girl. They're 21. They just turned 21 last month. Wow. And I became a single dad when I, when, when I was, they were four years old. Mm. So, you know, it, it was hard. I had to be mom and dad for yeah. these, for these kids. Uh, you know, the, the, the mom was a great mom. You know, I, I'm sure I had a lot to do with it of not us being together. I was, I was so striving for success. I didn't really pay attention to her needs. Mm. Right. So I take a lot of blame for that. And, you know, she ended, up, she ended up leaving us. And a lot of that's, I'm sure it's, I'm not, I know for a fact it's my fault. But the, the good thing about that is I got a lot of time. I got, I, I got pretty much custody of the kids. Yeah. So I loved being a dad, brother. Yeah, and, man. But I never got married. So you asked me how I'm living. I just got married March of this year. I have an amazing wife. I, she's, a, she's an entrepreneur. She loves God. She loves Jesus. She loves yeah. my kids. It's, and man, it's, it's, it's super exciting to be able to, you know, to, 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 be, to be with your soulmate. I, yeah. And I, I always heard like men, like my other men, like I know a lot of men that are successful and they're, they have a successful marriage and they always, they always tell me, man, I love my wife more now than I did 30 years ago. I'm like, come on, man. I didn't <laughs> believe that. Come on. Exactly. And right. I, now I could see why I could totally see that situation, man. I just, I love 
I'm married. I'm living life. It, it's yeah, it's I'm I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. I'm loving life right now. It's amazing. That's good, man. Listen, I want to commend you, first of all, for taking the mantle of responsibility for who you were then, who you were in the middle and who you're becoming. Thank you, brother. And that's Thank a you. process, man. As men, we need to hear each other attest to who it is that we truly were. Mm -hmm. We have to allow ourselves to say, you know what? I wasn't at my best. You know, yeah. there are things I could have done different. I can't blame that person without taking on some of the blame myself. That's responsibility. That's true masculinity. You Amen. know, I just want to, I want to acknowledge you for saying that because there's somebody else that may be at that pivotal point. Yeah. They're sitting there and they're in that struggle in the relationship. And it's like, I'm constantly pointing my finger at this person, but I also got three fingers pointing back at me. And, yep, exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? So I just want to acknowledge you for that, man. I'm glad you're laughing. Yeah. Living. Living. <laughs> and you yeah. said something that's really key, man. Relationships, which is in your book, ROL, Return on Life. We're going to talk about yes. that in a second, because definitely yes. relationships. You said she's an entrepreneur. All right. And that's right up your book, man. I mean, it's almost like, you know, the notes in the song that you're singing for life. You know what I'm yep. saying? I mean, you can find that person as your soulmate. It makes a major difference. That person understands you. You understand that person. You're harmonizing. You're reflecting on each other. You're mirroring each other. And you see certain things in that person and they see certain things in you. And now yeah. you have your help meet in the true state. Yes, completely. <laughs> and, you know, business, it's, it's amazing. Business is blowing up. And it, she's such a health, she's like you. She's <laughs> so health conscious. Where I'm eating better, I'm, I'm taking. I, I, she makes me like she makes me uh, these amazing like drinks every morning with yeah. uh, with uh, with cayenne pepper yeah, with, exactly. with, you know, with, with with fruits and it's a, I I seriously I've never been healthier man. It's like <laughs> see, so it's you so cool because I because I'm I just work 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 work. I don't yeah. like yeah I go to the gym yeah but. It's what you eat. It really takes it really what you put in your body is really key. Exactly. So I look great outside because I work out, but it's right, like, you right. know, I'm not eating the, the healthiest. Right. And I'm and, eating at the right times too. Exactly. I forget to eat. And so she's totally taking care of that. So she's seeing that. So it, yeah. it's just a, it's such a good balance, Clyde. It's it's so cool, man. I yeah. love it. You're right. I got, I got the ultimate help me. It's phenomenal. You do, man. That's what it's all about. And as you're talking about, as we eat, what it is, is that quantum body element. So, yep, we can always look good on the wrapper, on the package, on the outside. Okay. But on the inside, it's riddled with all kind of traumatic situations, all kind of mental situations that we actually have going on. The body's going through trauma from emotional situations. And, you know, the spirit doesn't really get a chance to flourish and thrive the way it is that God has designed us to do because... We're just so riddled up inside. He says, listen, as long as your heart is pliable, I can work with you. Yeah, yeah. so it's true. It's really important, man. So I'm glad to hear that you're singing that song and you're in a relationship that you truly desire to be in because, you know, life is about relationships as well. And it's not just the other business relationships. Of course, you know, people trust you with being in wealth management and whatnot. And yes. I spend some time in the financial arena too. And, you know, when people trust you in that degree, you can have all the money in the world, but your your health is your well, your wealth is your health. You understand? Know what I'm I mean, it you got to understand that, and it's really important to manage that. So, talk about that for a couple of seconds, man. It's interesting you say that because the the you know the firm that I just started working with, they're one of the top firms in the United States. Mm -hmm. The two founders, it's so I mean, they're really wealthy. Yeah, and they brought me on to really help to take on the caseload. Mm -hmm. So. You know, one just recently had a, a stent put in his heart. Another one um, is, you know, what's that? Like he got dizzy and he he couldn't work for like seven. I mean, they're not oh. in shape. Yeah, they're not in shape, but they're in, they're super stressed out all the time because running the business, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's very interesting. It's like, whoa, that was just a good reminder. You know what? Yeah, yeah, they're super wealthy, but I believe today, especially at, at, at this point of my life, yeah, wealth is complete. I mean, health is complete wealth, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have the ability to just go to actually go spend your money, right? What are you it's doing? Not worth it. What are you doing, right? Yeah, so that's it's so, it's so critical, like what you're saying, man. And I'm glad the fact that you actually have your book and it ties into the health aspect about you know what 
no matter what, no matter how much money you actually have, you can't pay to get another day. You so, can't oh, pay yes. to get another day. You know what so I'm saying? True. So, so true. when we look at that and we find that work-life balance, most of the time, especially men, when we're in that head, I got to work, 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 like Rihanna sings, work, 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 work. But at the same time, we're working away from our family dynamics. I suffer from the same thing. I went through it trying to be this and trying to create that and all the other stuff that goes along with the program and whatnot. And we fall into the trap. But the question is, is what did it actually cost us? Yeah. You know, the price that we actually had to pay in our relationships and in our personal health as well. So the key thing about that is to recognize that right now and to teach people how to get away from that same thing. Yes. How did yeah. It, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. That's actually why I wrote my second book, ROL, Returns on Life. You know, return. everybody wants an ROI on their stocks, their bonds, their real estate, right? Return on investment. Right. But really, your biggest asset is your time. Mm -hmm. And your time is your life. So what is what is the return on life you're getting on your biggest asset is you. Yeah. And so, you know, Clyde, the system that I developed is actually an alignment system. I, in the past 30 years, I've watched people live out of alignment, right. right? And once you live in alignment, here's the key alignment in life that I've seen. Because the lie is, Clyde, that you can't have everything. The truth mm -hmm. is, in God's kingdom, you can if you live aligned correctly. True. So there's specific life fund, just like a mutual fund, right? Mm -hmm. a mutual fund, you say you put away $1,000 a month, $100 goes to to Tesla, hundred dollars goes to Nvidia, and hundred dollars goes to Bank of America, right? You're splitting your your thousand dollars over ten funds, right? Well, in ROL, I have found this system. You have eight life funds, Clyde, mm -hmm. and if you live in alignment, all eight funds will be fully funded, and right. you could live an amazing life. The first fund that we we need to fund every day is your higher power fund. Exactly. Right? Spend time with your creator. Mm -hmm. And then once you, once you're, you're, you know, you're spiritually fulfilled, right. then you spend like for you, you I, I love how you look, you look great, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate next, it. Yeah. Look at you, the life fund, the next life fund you have to invest in is your health fund, your, health. your physical health. Mm -hmm. Once you, now you get your spirituality aligned and your physical aligned, then it, your mind opens up and you can actually figure out what is in your heart fund, yeah. the purpose, passion, calling that got put in your heart to go fulfill in the world because yeah. now you're fully aligned and check this out. If you are married, then your next fund is actually your honey fund. Right. Think about this, Clyde. You're, you're one with God. You're one with your body. You're, you're one with your, with your purpose. Right. How do you show up for your spouse? You're, you're alive. You're appreciative. Exactly. Yep. Man, yep. If you have kids, you spend time in your, you're investing your home life fund. You, you invest your kids directly because like my son, my son, his love language is quality time. Yeah. My daughter is words of encouragement. So I got to be conscious of how I fund their fund their life correctly, right? Yeah, it's important. And you know, Clyde, one of the things that, that I love about you, because you're a man's man. I love, you know, I'm not putting men down, but we need more men today like you, right? Yeah. And man. so yeah. the next life fund that I found you have to invest in is your homies fund. Mm-hmm. Clyde, men are, we're so bad at reaching out to other men. Yeah. But men need men. We do. Right? You can't do this by ourselves because there's mm -hmm. some things that your wife will not understand, right? Right. But it's so good to have, and not only that, to have good men to hold you accountable, to exactly. lead that good life, right? Exactly. And it's so crazy. Once you're aligned in these, these funds, and then the next fund you could actually invest in now is the humanity fund, giving yeah. back. Mm -hmm. you know, only if one person has lived a better life because you existed, right. you have literally made a difference in that person's life and in your life. And the last one is so crazy because God downloaded this, this book idea and this system to me. And I've been, I've been actually living it the last 30 years. The last fund is your financial house fund, is right? That? Building your assets because once you, once you do your higher power fund, you fund your health fund, you fund your heart fund, you fund your honey fund, your home life fund, your, your humanity fund, right? Your home, you fund all these correct the right way in alignment. Right, you build wealth. It's Isn't crazy. That it? It's a it's a process, man. And I'm just process. so glad again, as you say, you're speaking about a lot of stuff here, man. Which is why I'm so glad that you're here yeah. because we need as men, and it's not like the ladies don't have it together or they got it yeah. all. They don't need it, but for us, we're kind of late to the party, you know, because we fell into that fallacy of. 
don't cry when you fall. Yes. Don't feel anything and all this craziness and what right it's nonsense. A lie. For. Exactly. And we went for the hook, line, and sinker because the yep. predecessors prior to them taught them the same thing. So what do they do? We can't fault them. They did the best that they could with us with the information. They knew, yeah. So we take that. But now today, there's no excuse. There's yeah. no excuse why we can't get together and say, hey, brother, listen, you know what? I'm going through a little something right now. And yeah. I'm really not sure about who I am. And I need to be reminded and held accountable to a higher degree of standard based on not what you say, but what the word says. Amen. What so the word true. says. You know, yeah. and now... I know that you're a man of God. I know that yes. I'm a man of God. And when you put two men of God, you put those iron. Powerful. There, isn't it? And Powerful. now what do we do? We become magnetic. Yes. And when you become magnetic, you illuminate. And when you illuminate, you start to become brighter. Yes. And people start to get attracted. Yes. To what you say, but who you are and what yes. you're doing. And Absolutely. that's it. So Absolutely. this is how we even came together, man. We came as two Yes. <laughs> So good, man. Yeah, I love how God blesses you with amazing friends, dude. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, definitely, man. This is what it's all about. Now, like I said, man, you spoke about relationships, which is key. Yes. One of the key relationships is the relationship with self. And when you have that relationship Ooh. with self, the quiet, the noise down, the cognitive distance, and the chatter that you actually have in your head, and you said in the beginning to be at one with the Creator Amen. and spending that time. The system that you actually have is a phenomenal system because it's just like you said in the mutual fund, it's diversified. diversified. So isn't that the simplest? But see, you know what the funny thing about this is, again, when we think about wealth management, right, and we think about health, management of your wealth and management of your health are synonymous. They go together. Same thing. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yes. So yeah. How, and so here's, you here's can't separate thing. them. They're, they're not separated. There's no way to separate it. But you have professionals like yourself where you're in the financial arena. I, I had my time in the financial arena doing the mutuals and, the, and all that crazy stuff too yeah. as well and whatnot. And what my thing was, what I found out, as you said, wow, these guys are working so hard. Brain aneurysms, distress in the body, yes. heart attacks, spending hours after hours, days after days away from the family. Yep. The family's reaping the benefits of your labor, but they're not reaping the benefits of your life. Your life, exactly. You know what I'm get saying? It. Get it. You totally get it, man. man. And it's just about saying, like I said, this volume of work that you had is a download, and now you stepped up into that. And not only have you stepped up into it, you're exemplifying it. And not only did I'm listening to what you said about your children, you passed that information yeah. down to them. And now that impacts the world. But go ahead. You know, Clyde, so it's interesting. You just brought, you just brought the, I want to just talk about this because it wasn't all this, it wasn't always this way because, you know, as wealth management, you know, I like making money. I make, sure. I make great money. Like mm -hmm. yesterday, I'm, you know, I'm not bragging. I'm, I'm not I'm trying to impress the audience. Right. Yesterday I moved some money over and I, I, I just moved some money over. That's what we do. We just move money over. Right. Right. And I made close to $55,000 yesterday in a matter of a couple of hours. And this right. is it. You see what and I'm saying? So, but here's the thing though. That's not my purpose. Right. For example, on March 23rd, 2023, mm -hmm. I was literally, I was a full, I was a full-time, I was a full-time trader. Yeah. I would get to the office 5 a.m. in the morning because I'm in California, mm -hmm. right? The stock market opens, you know, in, in New York at 9.30. Yep. So I'm doing, I'm doing my pre-market analysis, yeah. look at the stocks. I'm looking to trade that day, right? I'm looking mm -hmm. what the, the, what how the markets may, may go that day, right? Maybe I'm going right. to short it. Maybe I'm going to go long that day. And so interesting. Buys, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I'm I'm making 30, 40 trades a day. But here's a crazy thing. People don't realize when you're day trading like that, it's like your heart is oh. racing the whole time the stock market is open. Mm -hmm. Right. And I've literally had heart palpitations. Like, and I asked like my men, my my trading mentor, is this normal? Because yeah, it's normal. Yeah. And after the market would close, I'm like, so my, my heart's so rocking. I'm like, whoa, I feel like I was going to have a heart attack. It, exactly. Clyde, it was not, it was not healthy, not healthy exactly. at all. And yeah, you know, man. it was so crazy. One day, March 23rd, I remember the day, right? March 23rd. What happened mm -hmm. is I went to dinner. I, I didn't eat. I forgot to eat. I'm so, so focused on trying to, you know, make money, yep. right? Trading money. Mm -hmm. And then I went to, to this Thai place in San Clemente with my wife. Mm -hmm. right? And I went, I dropped a spoon. I went, I went to pick up the spoon. I, almost i thought i was gonna have a heart attack wow 
Wow. I literally thought I was going to die. Clive, Amen. I heard this voice. Oh, my gosh, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I was so scared because I heard, mm -hmm. I literally heard the voice mm -hmm. telling me, Kalani, I'm disappointed in you. Mm. Not fulfilling the purpose I gave you. Yeah. See that? Clyde, I stopped trading the next day. Yeah, man. Because I've had this ROL system and I wasn't, and I was working on it, but not really, you know, focused on getting out to the world by showing men, showing women, you know, you know, fund your life funds correctly. Yeah. And ever since that day, bro, it's just taken off because now I'm, I was out of alignment. Yeah. And because I was trying to make, I was trying to make money. It wasn't my purpose, but now that I'm in alignment, yeah. it's all flowing now bro i feel alive again inside and i i haven't trade you know i trade little you know a little bit i don't day trade you know i do yeah. i do longer trades now so i'm not my heart's not racing right <laughs> so, but now i'm in i'm in the right path and unfortunately there's a lot of people that actually pass away before they figure that out exactly. i'm just so thankful that that i got a reminder because one thing i want i i want to hear when i go to heaven yeah, I want to hear God say, "Well done, my faith." Well done, yeah, my man. Faith. Isn't That's that amazing? Yes. And just like you said, man, you know what? I was going to ask you a question about a defining moment, and thank you for sharing that because that's how yeah. it all works out. And that was that defining moment when yeah. you realize something has to change. Because yeah. if it doesn't change, I'll continue to remain the same. And if I continue to remain the same, I may not be here to be the same. I'd be dead. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So. Yeah. That was that moment. And again, to hearken to that moment, to listen to it and to get to that point. So see, here it is. Sometimes we get <laughs> we get knocked on our keister so that we can get <laughs> our attention brought up so we can look up so we can actually get up. You know, what yes, I'm completely and that's the whole thing. agree with you. Completely agree so with when you. we get that situation or circumstance, again, it's your second opportunity because the first opportunity is the drop. I put it in you because you were born at the inception and at the inception, I designed you to do something at this particular time. Yes. You're going to grow through what you go through to become who it is that I've designed you to be. And yes. through those stress strains and struggles, adversities and oppositions, challenges and conversations, irritations and your aspirations, you will become this person. Now, yeah. If you don't get into alignment, you're going to get that nudge. And that nudge is to get your attention, not to stop you from becoming, but to get your attention and let you know you have something greater to yes. do than what you've been doing. And what happens is we tend to get comfortable in captivity doing the thing it is that we do, which is part of the illusion. We end yeah, up falling that's asleep. So true, brother. So true, yeah, man. So definitely you're doing your thing. You got yeah. your book out. You yep. structured it properly and you're yep. impacting lives and you're doing this major thing in a major way, which is in alignment with what it is that you say, yes. what it is that you do and how he's designed you to be. It's alignment with your wealth assignment. You know, there you, you know, go. It is. <laughs> Wait, so you, you can unlock it. Everyone here, you can, you literally can unlock. Yeah wealth that God has stored for you mm -hmm. by living a life of alignment. It's all alignment, man. Once you align yourself, everything will be unlocked. It will, everything will be given to you. It's absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Key yeah. factors here, man. So you, you spoke again about, you know, health and wellness, and this is one of the key things that we speak in reference to. If there was something that you can suggest to people who are of the affluent market, or if they have aspirations or desires to get into that way, how important to you is your health and your wellness prior yeah. to? Go ahead, talk about that for a second, if you don't. I mind. mean, other than the relationship with with my Creator, with with God, that it's it's right it's right next to it yeah. right now because you know I I'm I just turned fifty seven years old. I don't. It's so good to you don't look at it all, man. You look like a young God. one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel young, you know. That's a thing. I feel young. I and I, and I act young and I live yeah. young, right. And I, it, it's you know we're gonna go bike riding later today. You know, it's like we we you know my wife and we just have this amazing life that God's given us. But, but any advice I'd give to the people, listen, it's not that it really isn't a hard. It's all being it's all priority, right? right? Unfortunately, you're not gonna care about your health until what? You know, you're not gonna stop smoking until you you're gonna you're removing a lung. Yep. Right. You're not yep. going to go see the marriage counselor until your wife wants a divorce, right? Exactly. You know, you don't need that. Get the get the leverage on yourself right now, right? 
make it a priority. And it's not that simple. Just make the first thing you do. If you, if you need to get your health in that first thing you do focus in the morning, get your health. Yeah. You, know, you know, just go take a walk, right? Go take a walk to a mile, two miles. It's not that bad. Right. It's and, not. Take another, and after two weeks, you walk another, you walk two miles after four weeks, you start running maybe. Right. Exactly. And so it's, it's, it's really, it's just the consistency yeah. and the patterns of alignment that can unlock the wealth that is in you that, that God wants you to have. Yeah. Exactly. It's a very, like you said, man, and if you listen, and if, if even if you, if, well, you're all listening because people are paying attention and they're listening to what we're speaking in reference to, but you've already spoke about the system. So you wake up in the day and his word, he says, you know, be renewed. Don't yep. put on the old you, put on new you. Yes. Like, new mindset. So take a couple of minutes and reverence that. And this is just a simple process. This is what I do. I reverence that in those moments. And it's a moment of gratitude, moment of appreciation moment of compassion, a moment of care, a moment of jo joy and love. And in those moments, it's just a couple of minutes just for you to connect yeah. to that higher source, to that source energy, to God. Uh, Whatever your source is, is to God's source. And like I said, just let me take a couple of minutes because somebody else didn't wake up today, but you did. So, true. so, so you're true. still on assignment. All right. So you're still true. on your mission. And then when you do that, for me, it's like, okay, when I get up, let me take a couple of minutes to just kind of get my exercise in real quick. You know, just a few minutes. All you got to do is just a few minutes. It doesn't say you got to go and yes. do a 45 minute hour, hour jump. And a, a couple of minutes to get the body moving and grooving and going again. You know, yeah. get the body awake. And then you can go ahead and do the things that, is that you need to do as far as your nutrition is concerned, your plan of action for the day, your courses, your whether or not you have your habits or you have a habit stack yes. I for this whole thing. You get into your day, you ease into it. But here's something that's really important. Most people are doing something that they don't enjoy doing. Yep. And as people are doing things that they don't enjoy doing. It takes more of them to do the thing it is that they don't do, which actually shortens up the lifespan. Yes. Especially if you're in the arena like what you're just talking about, where you're doing some type of financial thing or whatever yeah. your stress, strain, or struggle is. If you're not enjoying the work that you're doing, Yep. And you're not on task with your alignment for who you're designed to be, then we got a few things to speak to you about. And yeah. uh, part of that is, is just kind of listening, as you said, to what that inner voice is saying. And oftentimes people tend to put a towel on the inner voice. I can't listen to that thing right now. Or my, my, my rent, my car, my house, I got to get the new phone. I got to get the new clothes. I got to get the new this. I got to get the new that. Yeah. We've yeah. all been, We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So crazy. So You're crazy. In there. But the change, the change. So again, I'm just going back into things that kind of occur with you and we'll just bounce off of the same thing. You just already spoke about what your major pain was. A yeah. win for you. So tell me about a win, something that you, you know, you were losing at, at one particular point and then all of a sudden it made sense to you. Mm. And you started winning, you know, it was like, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you know, I, I can tell you, I, I can tell you when I just had about a month ago, mm -hmm. I'm in bed and it's, it, it's, 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 it's unfortunately the enemy still attacks your of mind, the battle is in your mind. Right. And so every morning I struggle with anxiety. Right. Mm. And this win Clyde, I, I, for the first time, I mean, I've heard God before. Yes. But, right. I, God told me he I heard a voice stop you're my son mm -hmm. I, you are destined for greatness yeah and I felt a shift in my spirit for the first time bro and so you know and ever since that day the, these anxiety attacks they come but they come very fast they don't they yeah. don't linger anymore right mm -hmm. so I have this this it's 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 uncanny I have this because of that conversation I had yeah. with God in my head, right? <laughs> so, the God head, yes, <laughs> yes. It was like it, 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 it helped me just take more action, and it gave me comfort and peace knowing that I was on the right track. Yeah, you know, because and so you know, because when you start when you're doing new things in your life, you always want some some type of confirmation that you're in the right track, and that yeah. was a day that I was on the right track because it's also 
you know, if you're listening to this, if you're getting attacked, if you're starting, if you're doing something new, you're getting attacked quite a bit. That means yeah. you're on the right track. Right? <laughs> that means you're about to make a breakthrough because the enemy exactly. doesn't want you to be successful because he's realizing, oh my gosh, he's going to find out his purpose. She's exactly. going to find out her passion. Yeah, and man. She's super successful. Uh oh. And that's and it. You, the threat, you, she's, a, she's a threat. So, so I want to encourage you if you're listening to this, if you're getting attacked, you're probably in the right track. Exactly. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So it's a breakthrough by what you grow through and you got to be willing to grow through so you can get the breakthrough. And there's so no, true. listen, if everything was easy, everybody would have everything. All right. And it's plain and simple. And then everybody having everything wouldn't be good for everybody because true. what you got, you wouldn't yeah. appreciate it. And I've heard a lot of people, I mean, yeah. how many cars can you get? How many houses can you buy? Yeah. How many right. Can you wear and all these other things. And what I found, what I found, in conversations with multitudes of people from the people who have billions to the people who have a couple of coins in their pockets, man, it's something about having peace. peace. Oh, man. that's the, that's the key. Peace. You peace. know, when you, you, mo you mentioned this thing in the beginning, you know, God says, seek the kingdom of God first and all this righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And what are these yeah. things? The desires of your heart and the desires of your heart. If you're doing this right, it's the peace Yes. God that actually presides with inside. You know yes. what I'm saying? So when you search the inner part, it's the heart. You spoke about alignment as well. Yeah. The alignment, the head, the, the intellect, the mindset integrated with the heart set. Now, as men in particular, we have a, a tendency to function intellectually with what it is that we think things actually are. And what we're learning how to do is feel how things are. And that's yeah. different for us. Yes. We're different, man. I know for me, and I'm listening to as you're saying, it's that feeling that something's just not right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then when you get in alignment, like you're saying, boom, it's effortless. Effortless. Literally, literally. And just in that peace. Oh, that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants peace. No matter how successful you are, if you don't have peace, it's, you know, it's, you're, you're not going to feel successful, right? Yeah. You know, success without fulfillment is not success. Right? Exactly. So yeah, that peace. That's key, man. The peace mm -hmm. of mind, peace of heart, you know, so, and when we finally get into that place and we are in that alignment and now that, that voice that we actually hear in the synchronicities and serendipitous moments they're consistent because now you're on that path and your GPS, your God providing system is really activated. And it's like, Hey, listen, yes. I've got a destination for you to go to. And this yeah. is the journey that you're on and you're going to meet with people and you're going to meet in situations and circumstances, but there's going to be a, there's going to be a choice for you. And mm -hmm. he says, my way is narrow, but yeah. what I need you to do, what I'd like for you to, because it's a choice, a choice, take what you have, and come with me and I'll provide for you. But we try to grab everything and go along with this thing. I don't, I'm a provider. I will provide the things it is that you need for this so journey. True. So you true. Know? And it's a different mindset. It's a different spirit. It's so a true. different emotional acumen that you actually have. And the conditioning of the body, you will command the body to do the things. It's no place for the dis-ease and the discourse in the body when you follow me. Yes. When you follow me. So true. You so know what true. I'm saying? So yeah. again, we have these opportunities and we can make, and listen, there's nothing wrong with being financially well. But the thing That's about it is as we have that financial aptitude, as we have that financial stability, how much more can you do creating impact if you have the financial stability to do it? You know what I mean? And then and, just, and give it away, you know, be wise with it. But, you know, you can you can start giving in secret. The only 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 you and God know about it. That is I mean, that is one of the things we love to do. We just love to to help people in secret. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's so I mean, I, I, I could show you so many stories where, you know, if we've the people that we actually see the results in our life and yeah. they tell us like what the miracle was. And it's so beautiful knowing that God knows it was us that helped that person. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Isn't so, that the key, man? I mean, oh we God. have the keys to the kingdom. 
You know, all we got to do is find the door. It's a master key. So no matter what door you go to, the key is going to work because you're using him to open the door, not you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, if you want to be, if you want to make more money, give more. Seriously. Bottom Seriously. line, right? Yeah, exactly. give more. Give, but give in secret. Give more. Right. Give in secret. Let yeah. the person, let the people know that you're giving it because of like that. It's it's coming from God, right? Right. Because it's not of our, it's not our money anyways, right? We're just stewards of it, right? And so, managers. yeah. So yeah. We're, just, we're all managers, man. We're, we're managers of our body, exactly. Right? We're gift. We're yeah. managers of our money. Right. Yeah. And we're managers of our relationships. That's, that's exactly so critical. Yeah. So I got two more things for you, brother. So first of yeah. all, title of your book, title of your book. Returns on life, how to <laughs> activate the full, the highest returns on your life. Yes. R-O-L. R-O-L, yeah. return on life. You'll heard it from the man, the author, the myth. He's not even a myth. He's a master. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk about that at the same time. Uh, so where can they find your book at? Just curious. You know what? You could actually go to Amazon.com right. or right now you could you could go to uh, Kalani. You can actually go to KalaniBala.com right. or actually, you know what? There's you can. I just created something. Mm -hmm. You can go to uh, let me see. Give I, I'll give you guys a website. Right. So they can actually get a free copy of my book. Mm -hmm. And then if you guys want, I'm going I'm doing a four hour master class. Next Saturday, October right. 26th, from 8 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m., I'm going to show you how to activate, how to get clarity on all your life funds and how you're investing it, what percentages you're actually present, uh, investing in your life funds, and which funds are actually going bankrupt, which mm -hmm. one are not aligned, which are being overfunded. And we'll actually We'll actually get clarity on your purpose, passion, and calling. And mm. once we figure that out, we're going to help you monetize what that, that what that ca calling is. So if you guys want to go to go to where is this? My my assistant just set this up, right? I'll and put so, the links in everything for you, man. We can yes. just you know. Yep. Go to go www the returns on life dot com. The return on life dot com. Yeah. Returns uh, with the S. Yeah, the returns, the returns on life. Returns on life dot com. Y'all yeah, got that? Go there. The returns on life dot com. Yeah. I'll put you a get my, if you copy my book, you can get the master class. And Clyde, you know, I, 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 this is amazing, bro. I, amazing, man. I'm just humbled that you know God put you in my life. Yes, and brother. We're doing this interview, brother. So man, this is powerful, man. I, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day because I know. Listen, wealth management is no joke. I've been in that yes. arena. And moving money and, and taking care of people and making sure that the time horizons for people is right and preparing them for retirement and all these other different yes. things happens yep. way in the beginning of the game, especially for the young folks right now, man. And just to be able to say, hey, listen, if you want to have longevity for life, get your health right and you can manage yes. your money and spend your yes. money right in your life as opposed to exactly. using your money to create the life that you didn't take care of in the beginning. And now you have no life and no money because you're spending all your money trying to get healthy. So yes. That's so true. So true. Story in itself. But to eradicate all those problems, situations, strain, stress, and struggles, my man has a system that's over here. And it's really about radically changing your life from what was to what it's truly desiring to be. And yes. I will say this as we close out the person who you're becoming, you really don't know who that person is. The whole thing with this is you have an opportunity to become somebody brand new each and every single day. Old things have passed away. You are brand new. New. There's no reason to keep putting on yesterday and you living your whole life in yesterday as opposed to the new day. Yes. Kalani's here to talk about that. He's got a system. I've got systems. We both doing the same thing, which is why we're here together. I appreciate you being up in the building, my man. And listen, yes, thank you, brother. Come. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Yes, brother. mahalo, mahalo. I got it. I got it, y'all. So listen, in the meantime, between time, we're going to check out of here. We've taken up your time. I hopefully you've got something from this. Matter of fact, I know you got something from this. If you were really listening, if you were really paying attention, go back and check this out and pick up some of the jewels. And don't just pick it up. Do something with it. You have his information. You got my information. It's a call to action. Yes. Do something with this and radically transform your life from the inside out. With that being said, Peace, blessings, prosperity, and abundance. Namaste. Everyone else, enjoy your day. Kalani, I appreciate you, my brother. In the meantime, between time, you'll enjoy. One love. Peace. Peace. All right.